So basically what we saw, we looked at the existing corridor. I, mean, I think we tried to really strike a balance between what the existing communities are and what the future growth could be. I think we identified the major downtown employment hubs or higher intensity uses, obviously, is on the peninsula, um, some near uh, Tanger, where City Hall is on Mall Drive and so forth, and then, of course, up by uh, some of downtown. Uh, in addition to that, adding some additional areas where the employment hubs, the major employment hubs, uh, being in sort of this underdeveloped area between Somerville and North Charleston here, an employment hub, I try to uh, kind of around where Trident Medical and Charleston Southern is, uh, employment hub, again, sort of, we call it a, a, an employment hub, it's really around aviation and remount that kind of section because that's a potential area to get access to existing employment hubs and then potential expansion from there. Um, and then looking at where we made, and then more employment hubs, obviously, with the with the uh, downtown centers there. And then we look again where we may have town center type development. Um, some of that came at the front side of Ingleside. Um, we know there's going to be some industrial stuff, but we also know there's going to be a mix of residential and uh, commercial uses sort of toward the front of that development. Uh, we have town centers, potentially Northwoods Mall becoming more of a town center type development, but we could also imagine a more higher intensity use there like they're proposing for the Citadel Mall. Um, we have a uh, sort of town center here near Carner, which is sort of, I don't know if you guys know where that area is, um, but in the city of North Charleston, we have a very a really high, uh, we have a lot of land where we can build a lot of sort of civic infrastructure. Uh, um, playgrounds, ball fields, gymnasium, senior centers, and so forth, connected to an area where there's a pretty ample um, commercial district and residential. So it all kind of comes together to make sense of sort of a neighborhood level, neighborhood scale um, town center there. Um, and then and then there's these other down, what we'll call downtown areas, I guess that's what I missed. Um, and one is kind of around Trident Technical College. There's a lot of people come to Trident Technical College um, there, we need to get some more people living near where they're going to school. Um, there's been some recent investments with the uh, aviation or avionics um, building and so forth. So I think that that area of Rivers Avenue has ample uh, space to grow. Um, we also have a downtown neighborhood looking at the intersection of McMillan where the Navy Hospital is at McMillan and Rivers. Uh, downtown neighborhood where the Magnolia development is proposed. Uh, I think those are those major ones there. And then interspersed between there are sort of the neighborhood level stuff uh, where I'll try and do. That could probably support a higher use as well, but for now we'll keep it as uh, neighborhood scale. Um, we're, actually, where we sit today, uh, this, is, this would be just south of here, but this is uh, Nixon Development, Durant Avenue. It, it, it is really a crossroads where we are now. There's not good connectivity between this building and that line at this point in time, but we think that there is uh, ample opportunity for redevelopment in that area as well. Uh, neighborhood development in the sort of between Chicora, Union Heights, Windsor Heights, and those neighborhoods which are existing uh, historically African American or minority communities um, there. Uh, we see that as remaining at neighborhood scale for this time, and then obviously sort of the central portion of the Upper Peninsula where uh, around Hampton Park and so forth, which is neighborhood scale. We don't expect that to change. So that's sort of how we came to our conclusions there. Huh? Are there other questions? Yeah, great. Okay.